I did not think I was going to be making this video today. What's going on guys? Brown here. And, well, Code Masters have done it again, haven't they? F1 2020 announced it's going to be coming out on the 10th of July. We're currently in April, so three months away. I, I, I can't believe it, to be honest. I, I Obviously, I know there's lo there was loads of rumours circulating that it wasn't going to happen. Let's be honest. Obviously, there is now, but there was always going to be an F1 game because of how far in advance they make these games like F1 2021 is probably in development now but it's it's coming and it's coming in three months a little bit later than last year there is a deluxe edition with Michael Schumacher some of his cars the but getting into the actual tasty stuff of this I've got the news kind of release thing that they and I just want to say, my first thought, I saw the trailer on Instagram, and I've got to be honest, it took me, it wasn't until the end of the trailer when it said the F1 2020 official F1 game, that I realised it was, it was the actual game, because I saw it, I was watching it, and then I just thought, like, by the looks of things, I wasn't really paying attention as well, that it was just, like, the mobile app, and I was like, oh. And then I got to the end, I was like, oh my god. And then I got very, very excited. So, let's just jump straight into this. Cody's, they've done it again. Last year it was F2 and the career story mode. This year, we can make our own teams. And that's mental. People um, been dreaming about this. But Codemasters... I've only gone and done it, which is absolutely mental. So, I'm going to go into some of the details that it says in the news thing I've got here. So, it's going to be called My Team. It's, a bit, it's sort of like, I guess, in a way to FIFA's ultimate team, in a way. So, alongside the normal career, so the, um, F1 2019, where you have career, but then you also have My, my Team. You're effectively you're not kind of manage you're the manager it's a driver manager so think kind of i don't know total wolf but then he goes and jumps in the car something like that but which is going to be cool which i guess i mean if you could fire people that would be cool i mean you, i'd fire jeff straight away i just i can't get my head around this this is absolutely a me mental so we're going to be able to create are in leverage. If you've seen the trailer for it, I'll probably be having it over the top of this. Um, they had they showed us a lot of nice designs. Um, I I hope it probably will be, but I hope it's not like the kind of credit system it was on F1 2019. I I kind of hope it's they're sort of put there, and you can choose, and then I've, there are some also saying about sponsors um i think as well which that would make it even better but the one thing that caught my eye it wasn't actually to do with the my team bit it was um the fact that if you buy the deluxe edition so you get all those schumacher stuff you also get a unique podium celebration i i like the big things but i also like the little things as well because let's be honest the podium celebration on F1 2019 was dull. After you'd done two races, you effectively knew what was going to happen. It was the same every time. It was boring. I hope they kind of like... The way I'm picturing this is... Let's say you've just come around the final corner. You come up to the line. You obviously watch the driver win. He does the fist, whatever. And then when it cuts to when you're back in Park Fermi... You could then, like um, FIFA, when you score a goal, you can then like do different things. And your driver, maybe, he he, he gets out of his car, stands on top of it and like pats the car, like we've seen Lewis Hamilton do. Or he gets out of his car and then jumps into his team. Let's so say Charles Leclerc and Monza. Let's so say you, you literally do what Charles Leclerc did last year. Or... 
or vice versa, let's say you're driving as Max Verstappen and you're doing like a, a championship thing with the actual drivers and you win in Zambor because they're on the game. They've said they're happening, so there's still Viet there's Vietnam and then of course Zambor as well, which I'm very excited to try out those tracks. Especially um the Vietnam one because that looks insane. And maybe even when you get on the podium yourselves, you could you could stand there. It'd be really cool if they kind of expanded on the podiums. Maybe um, instead of going straight into the trophies, maybe it could be like FIFA does, just like a, a short snippet of the national anthem of the drivers that won. You could you could throw the constructors in there, but there's so much there. That can be done with the podiums, and if they're doing these celebration things, it'd be very, very cool to see things like that implemented into the game. And then the only really last thing we've got renders of all the cars, all of the twenty twenty cars, and the Michael Schumacher um cars as well. All the cars are kind of base spec they are uh, an S uh, FOM car so like like the Mercedes in the thumbnail of this video it weren't the actual nose but my guess is that there'll be a day one patch it's gonna say uh, the Australia spec but that was the race that never was so it will be tested at Barcelona that will be like the basic cars for that would then go into Korea and the um, now I'm guessing my team thing, which I guess the way I'm picturing this is that it will, it's going to be the same as sort of the actual career is at the minute, but you have your own team. Um, it'd be good if you could kind of build up from the bottom. Maybe you could do a Ross Braun. I know he didn't build that team up, but he brought it for a pound. Designers in there, maybe you could sign an Asian Nui. And it does wonders for your car. And you're the best team on the grid. Just like Braun did in 2009. So just to just to round this off. Because I've been rambling for quite a while. Um, the If you buy the Deluxe Edition. Just going back to that. You get just like um, if you brought the Senna and Prost stuff last year. Um, you get actual. Like you can drive as Michael Schumacher, just like you could drive Ayrton Senna and Alan Prost last year. You get Pacific items to them, so I'm guessing, just like you did with the Senna and Prost, you're gonna get Schumacher's helmet. Maybe it will be more than one, because he was a, he used to change his helmets quite a lot. And um, you get some different items as well that that, that they haven't really said about, but the cars that are coming. That you get with the deluxe edition as well as Michael Schumacher, you get that unique podium celebration, like I mentioned earlier. You get the 1991 Jordan, 1994 Benetton, the 1995 Benetton, and the 2000 Ferrari. So, good selection of cars there. The 7 Up car, which I'm looking forward to driving to kind of round this off my current career mode, FDF 2019 career mode. That kind of puts it's taken me two months to get for a season, so this would probably mean that next season, season five, will be the last season of the career. Um, I still haven't finished season four, season four has been dragging on for a long while. I'm really sorry about that. I've been struggling to find time to edit these videos and get them out. I was scheduled, um, I literally had it scheduled it, um, for half four today, um, the Russian Grand Prix, but I pulled that back to put this in, and that will now be coming out on Sunday, so make sure you check the channel out for that, make sure to like, subscribe, all of that stuff, let me know your thoughts down below, do you like it, do you not like it, and also it kind of, it throws another one in there for the career. Do we do the normal career? Do we do the my team? But make sure to like and subscribe. Um, let me know your thoughts, like I said, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.
It's mega, mega, mega. Wow. Can't wait.